Hello everyone. You're watching the Adas Platform Channel. In this video, we'll walk through the process of adjusting the chart scale. This will enable you to easily analyze cluster charts, volume profiles, and other volume analysis tools, allowing you to customize values for adjusting the scale. Each instrument has its unique volatility and liquidity. For instance, the daily trading range for Bitcoin against the dollar averages from $500 to $2,000, while the oil futures fluctuate between $2 to $3 per day. Moreover, each of these instruments has its minimum price change increment. For Bitcoin on the Binance cryptocurrency exchange, this is 10 cents, whereas for oil with the SL ticker, it is 1 cent. So, if we do the math, a Bitcoin daily candle can have from 5,000 to 20,000 ticks, as dividing this range by $0.1 gives us these tick values. But when it comes to oil, its daily candle is made up of 200 to 300 ticks, or minimal price changes of just 1 cent. This means that the gap between a daily candle for Bitcoin and an oil futures contract ranges from 25 to 66 times. As a result, it becomes impossible to analyze such large timeframes on exceptionally volatile instruments like Bitcoin, whereas we can easily analyze oil futures in their original scale. If the instrument isn't highly liquid and there aren't many orders in the DOM, this leads to a situation where there are few trades in the cluster chart. Analyzing instruments such as volume profile becomes challenging in such scenarios. To solve this problem, a chart scaling function has been added. This is a synthetic way to consolidate adjacent price levels and the associated traded volume values. If we choose a value of 2 instead of 1 and apply it to the chart, then the number of cells in each cluster candle will change, it will be reduced by half. Volumes in the cells will consolidate between the cells that have merged due to the scale adjustment. The increment on the price scale will change, for instance, in the case of oil, instead of 1 cent, it will be 2 cents. Consequently, if we set the scale to 10, it will consolidate not by 2 price levels but by 10, and the increment on the price scale will be 10 cents. This will impact the candle structure, the length of tails, and the body of the candle. Such a large scale doesn't make much sense for oil, so let's take a look at Bitcoin. The first thing worth noting is the presence of auto-scaling, which is automatically determined by the system when loading a highly volatile instrument. For Bitcoin, this value is set to 10. Notice how the clusters look like on a scale of 10 and a scale of 100 on the right, and you'll notice how much easier it is to identify significant cluster spikes in the candles. Now, the candle doesn't stretch across the chart, making analysis less challenging. The consolidation of price levels occurs either from the top of the candle downward or from the bottom upward. By default, it's from the top down, but to change this, check the box in this window for load adjustment. It is important to know the following. The minimum price increment is changed only on your chart. Trading on the exchange follows the format specified in the instrument specifications. You will observe minimal fluctuations in price changes on the price scale, but the candle and cluster level will adjust according to the specified scale. Setting too large a scale will result in all candles having a height of one tick, and it'll be impossible to analyze them effectively. When calculating stop loss and take profit, it's crucial to consider the scale. For instance, if your strategy sets a stop loss at 10 ticks, with a scale of 2, these 10 synthetic ticks will turn into 20 minimum ticks. Scaling will also impact indicator calculations, and cluster filter values will need to be adjusted according to the new scale. Now, we'll share a life hack on how to adjust the chart scale. We suggest using base values for the number of ticks in a candle that we've obtained through trial and error. For H4 and daily charts, the average candle should fall within the range of 50 to 100 ticks. For intraday candles from M30 to H1 should fall within the range from 10 to 30 ticks. For example, if you load a chart and notice that the average M30 candle's height ranges from 600 to 1200 ticks, averaging around 900 ticks, you can roughly estimate this visually using a ruler. Now you know that the value exceeds the base by 30 times, as the base value for an M30 timeframe candle is 30 ticks, and on Bitcoin, it's 900.
Enter this value into the scale, and after reloading, you'll get candles that should look like average instruments that are user-friendly for analysis. Then, you can use these base values to fine-tune things according to your preference. Like this video, subscribe, and download the platform for free. See you in the next video.